Hey everybody, Trey here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about surface base cape and mixed layer cape. We're going to talk about what they both mean, how they're different, and why you should tend to use the mixed layer cape when making a severe weather forecast. So if you've ever gone on the SPC mesoanalysis page and looked under the thermodynamics tab, you'll see all these different calculations for cape, particularly these top two, surface base cape and 100 millibar mixed layer cape. You'll often notice that the surface based cape, which is pictured here, is a lot greater than the mixed layer cape calculation, as you can see here. And why is that? Why do we see some people using the surface based calculation in their forecast and others using the mixed layer cape calculation in their forecast? Well, the surface based cape calculation is using only the parcel that exists at the surface. So again, if you need a refresher on these diagrams, these sounding diagrams, go ahead and take a look at the link in the description. I'll put the link for my definitive guide to skew tees and hodographs down in the description box below. So again, the surface-based CAPE calculation uses only the temperature and dew point of the parcel at the surface. So if you recall, the way we make our parcel traces is we go up, in this case, our surface-based parcel. It's going to be the temperature at the surface. We follow the dry adiabat up from the surface temperature. We follow our mixing ratio line up from the surface dew point, at which point they intersect, which is the lifted condensation level. And then we follow the moist adiabat up into the atmosphere. And that is our surface-based parcel trace, which was used to calculate our surface base cape, which of course is the positive area between the when the when the parcel trace is warmer than the environmental temperature. Now for our mixed layer cape calculation or ML cape, that is using the average of the thermodynamic characteristics of parcels in a certain layer. It can either be surface based or elevated. So the mixed layer cape calculation is going to be different based on which source you're looking at. For our purposes, we're going to be using the um, lowest 100 millibars of the atmosphere. That's what the SPC uses. So basically, we're taking all of those parcels and we're doing the exact same thing for all of those parcels, every single parcel in the lowest 100 millibars of the atmosphere for our mixed layer cape calculation. So you can see why this might be different than the surface-based CAPE calculation. For example, if we take our parcel trace, let's say we take it right, right in here, right about 950 millibars or so. Well, if we do our parcel trace here, we'll notice that we have quite a bit less instability than our surface-based parcel. Quite a bit less positive area between our parcel trace for our mixed layer calculation here. Um, using this 950 millibar uh, parcel and the environmental temperature. So basically with the mixed layer cape, we're averaging all these different parcels in the atmosphere. And what this does is it, it basically is trying to simulate a mixed layer, hence the name mixed layer cape. And we've talked about mixing before. Mixing is when you have generally strong surface heating and that tends to create thermals and currents that tends to bring the air from aloft down to, to near the surface. That's why we see dew points often mix out or decrease a little bit in the afternoon on severe weather days when we have strong surface heating. Well, we're trying to, we're taking a little bit of that, of that dry air aloft and mixing it down toward the surface. That's why dew points tend to decrease in the afternoon a little bit. So what the mixed layer cape calculation does is it it's trying to simulate that mixed layer. So you often see why the surface-based cape parcel at least in the daytime for your typical severe weather forecast we're making for you know an afternoon or early evening type setup, the surface base cape is going to be a lot greater than the mixed layer cape because we're just using the surface base parcel for our surface base cape and we're actually averaging that layer just above the surface for our mixed layer parcel. So that's for that reason we want to use the mixed layer cape calculation when making a forecast. It's going to be a lot more accurate and a lot more, uh, a lot less spatially variable. What I mean by that is it's not going to be um, dependent on small variations in surface temperature quite a bit. Because if you had, you know, at this location in, on this particular day, this is at Corpus Christi 
here. If we have a temperature of 78 degrees at Corpus Christi, and let's say just to the north of there, we're in cloud cover. And we take a sounding from this point right here. Well, our surface, our environment is going to be very, very similar, but our surface temperature might be a lot less, say, you know, 74 degrees at the surface. Well, that's going to change the surface base cape. But if we're, we're talking about an environment that is quite similar in the in this kind of low level layer, our mixed layer, then we're not going to see a huge change in the mixed layer cape um, in such a close proximity, where you, whereas you might with your surface based parcels. So once again, the surface based cape is going to be usually a lot larger than the mixed layer cape, especially when there's strong surface heating. You can see here in this example, mixed layer cape is only about 1100 joules per kilogram but our surface base cape is exceeding 3,500 joules per kilogram. So quite a big difference here in this particular example. Now there are times when the uh, surface base cape is going to be less than the mixed layer cape, and that tends to happen overnight or in the early morning hours, typically when there's a strong surface inversion. And of course we know an inversion to be where the temperature increases with height in a layer in the atmosphere. Usually it typically decreases, and inversion is where it typically increases with height in a given layer. You can see here on this example that we do have a nice surface inversion, so our surface-based parcel is going to have a lot less cape than our mixed layer parcel. So here's our surface-based parcel. 34 joules per kilogram of surface base cape here, so not basically zero um, surface base cape here. But as you notice here, our mixed layer cape is going to use these parcels up here. We're going to extend up through the top of that inversion. So if we take our um, parcel at the top of the inversion right about here, we'll do our parcel trace here. You'll notice that there's going to be quite a bit more instability than there is at the surface using these parcels as we go up through that mixed layer. So generally, to kind of summarize things, we want to be using the mixed layer cape calculation when we're using a, when we're making a severe weather forecast. It's just going to be more accurate. It's going to be more uh, representative of the overall environment because we're averaging the thermodynamic characteristics of a, a given layer near the surface instead of using just one single parcel which is what's used in our surface-based cape calculation. So that'll wrap things up here. Hope you learned something today. Always use the mixed layer cape calculation when we're using, when we're making a typical severe weather forecast. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.